it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, you guys before have been asking me for a reading vlog and I was supposed to film that over Christmas but then as you guys know I got the vid and thus that was just not a thing. Um, and today's not going to be exactly a reading vlog but it's going to be a just a regular vlog because we bought a house. <laughs> So um, we are kind of in the process of moving in slash fixing things up slash all of this other stuff. So we are actually currently at Home Depot and today's mission is to look at some paint samples and to get a light. And then when we go to the actual house, I'll give you a house tour for the first time and introduce you to the house. We got a, a Victorian, so I'm very excited as a person who likes history. So if you also like history, you might enjoy this video. Also need to get some work done today uh, and some other small miscellaneous things and you'll see that too. So it's just gonna be kind of a day in our life and we even have our dog with us because she's allowed in Home Depot. So she'll enjoy the adventure too. Woohoo! Let's go! The good old Home Depot. Yep. 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 Uh, Guess we'll find out, huh? What? Um, if we can or can't film in here. So we just asked for paint samples. Why is it so zoomed in? I knew it. It was zoomed in for some reason. I wasn't that close to your face. It's falling apart. It was literally like right in your face. We do need a new camera. What color were you thinking? A, a lighter, like a white. Like a lighter what? Lighter white. Right now it's like this. How about porcelain skin? Maybe. This one might be a little bit too dark. Porcelain skin. Now that I'm looking at it, kind of. What about string cheese? That sounds pretty... What? That sounds like right up my alley. That might be too yellow. String, che string cheese? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So which category should we be looking in? Probably like... Or the whites. There's literally a white section. Struggling there. <laughs> These baby dogs. <laughs> Almond milk? That's like a yellowy. Oh wow, you can actually. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Almond milk. I don't know if they could hear me before, but like, this is what the, it currently looks like. It's a very like flesh kind of. Craft color. juggler. It looks like a craft juggler. What about arcade white? Arcade white? That might be too bright. I can't tell. From a glance, I really, really can't. Simply white might be good. It has to have like a, a slightly warmer undertone, but it's still white. Of, of what? An undertone of what? <laughs> warm. Like what specific warm color? Like a, like a brown. Like an undertone of brown. Vanilla frost. That's nice. Alright, now we're looking at greens. Now we're looking, now we're, now we're looking at greens. Do you think we could do an accent wall? A what? Like, like an accent wall. Like if we if we I'll show you the house later, but like in the room there's like that entryway that goes into the sitting room. What if we painted that a color? So it was like a like an accent wall. No idea what you're talking about, but I will show you later. But what kind of green are you thinking? I'm thinking like undertones of what? <laughs> not, not these. Well, like an actual green or like a kind of like. I'm a little bit flexible in the green because I don't know what kind I want yet. You know what I mean? No. That's too light. I'm thinking darker. You're thinking dark green. So you I'm are. So you're not flexible in the green. I'm you can have a lot of different dark greens. You should have just said darker, dude. What about classic avocado? <laughs> this is a cool, like a cool green. Oh, there we go. So you're looking for like a green on the uh, on the on the bluer spectrum. No. On the dark spectrum. That was that was an example of a cool green. Flexible on the green. This is nice. It's really olive. 
I don't know about that. You don't like that? No, we're not a Starbucks, bro. Oh, okay. What do I look like, a barista? That looks like a much more natural green. Mm -hmm. you like this? Yes. That's why I was looking at the other one, even though you said it was too light. Do you see how different these three It are? looks like an actual leaf. You can, you look, they look and look so different. I don't like the olive. You don't like the olive? And this is like too, like, that's like Power Ranger green. What about spinach dip? <laughs> no, that looks like a pukey green. Classic avocado is just so... It's just such a green. It's such a green? Yeah. Question green? That's good. Okay. Like I said, those are like natural looking greens. This is like a blue green. Like a dark blue green. It's kind of cool. That's pretty nice. It's like a tree. Um, Some new ceiling light these are the white, for the little office the area. This is basically what they it's have pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty nice. You having a good time, Mia? Oh. Okay, so we just got out of Home Depot, and now we are going to probably get some Wendy's. Uh, this dog right here really loves french fries. I'm looking at the viewfinder, not the camera. Um, so, I'm sure she'll be really happy to get some french fries from Wendy's. But then we're just, we're gonna go back to the house and I'm gonna hold up those paint samples to give you the house tour and um, do all the other things that we need to do. Okay. Hi. Um, I like, what do you want, a 10 piece nugget? I like a 10 piece nugget meal. Any soft work drink? Uh, barbecue and honey mustard. Oh, you like the drink? And I'll have a strawberry lemonade with that. All right, anything else? Yeah, can I get the um, can I get the pretzel bacon pub with the uh, the chicken one? We can get the sandwich with the combo. I'll have the combo, and I'll make that large. I'm sorry, we're actually out of large cups. I can give you a medium. That's fine. Do you want large fries? Like yeah, the, fr the fries are the bigger deal. Alright, what's your drink? Um, I'll have a tropical berry. Alright, anything else for you? I think that's all. Well, that was me ordering <laughs> Wendy's. Hello, and welcome to our house. Da, 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 da. Wait, what's that show called? What? My crib. Oh god, MTV Cribs. MTV, this is, uh, let's redo it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Alright, so this is our entryway. Um, this is one of the newer looking parts of the house that was redone or added on. So we already have actually our coats in here. You can see my little yellow rain jacket. And over there, that's how you enter the garage. I mean, I will open it for you, but we're not gonna go in there because- It's a garage. It's a garage, so. There's a lot of junk in there's there. A there's a lot of junk. Here we are, going into the dining room. You also kind of missed an opportunity because you wanted me to go outside. There's a point where Jax was at, like he was pressing his face against that door. So he was gonna welcome you. Oh, oh! Dun, 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 dun. Jax! Jax! This is the cat tour. Jax, look up here. No, that's For not. For just $5 a month, you could support one of these cats. Oh, he looked up with the cutest eyes. Okay. Okay. So oh, he said. So, this dining room, um, I feel looks awesome. But, actually, we've made a lot of changes to this dining room. This is the only room so far that we are almost, I think, almost finished with furnishing wise. <laughs> You're just focused on the side, aren't you? Um, originally, you'll see the table that was in here. It's actually in the living room now, it just for a spare table. Um, but we actually got this, and it's Amish made. It's cherry wood. And we got this table. Uh, that I really think looks great in here because we have a lot of dark trim in this house. Most of the trim is very dark. And um, we got this little cabinet, corner cabinet, has a light inside. And my idea is, since we actually have a built-in like 
china cabinet that it would be cool to put like curio items in here, maybe like um, historical things. Uh, like I have a Japanese bone knife and uh, some other, maybe some cool historical looking things. Well, over here is the mantelpiece and fireplace. So actually the house came with this um, mirror up here and it came with this sort of fireplace guard, this, these um, fireplace tools and this uh, fan that you spread out that protects. Fireplace, <laughs> it's a fireplace cover. <laughs> Oh my god, this <laughs> fan <laughs> that <laughs> protects. <laughs> yeah, we're not about that. this green pioneer woman, uh, green china because I. Jadeite. Jadeite because I like green and I think that this house really reminds me of the color green. So we're doing as much green as we can. And all the transoms are green. So if you look over at that door. That's a green transom right there. Green. Uh, these drapes came with the house. They're like a gold drape. And then this gorgeous chandelier that I love a lot came with the house as well. Green. You can zoom in there and see all these. It's green. Floral details. It's they green. look like little tulips. That's a pretty neat shot. And then there's that thing up there on the ceiling. I can't remember what's called. A coin. They call it coin. So, um, so this has red and green and tan, uh, beige, black, uh, and I think we're gonna keep with that color scheme for the whole, I mean, for the, all the living areas. So, we actually ordered furniture, um, but if you don't know currently, furniture is very hard to come by and to order because everything's really backed up, so the furniture that we ordered will not be coming in for about six months. So, um, we actually bought some of the contents of the house and the furniture that you're about to see is what came with the house. It's semi-new, you know, it's just not our style, so that's why we're getting furniture to suit us. But we have been using it and it is a little bit messy because we're moving things around a lot. This is one of the door stoppers that my mom liked at a um, antique store and she got it. So we're looking for a matching or similar looking dog for the other door. So you come in here and there's a cat again. More cats. We actually have 50,000 cats. Every single room 50, you'll find. 50,000? Every single room you'll see another four cats. Wow. So over here we have a dog actually to mix it up. And a little recliner. You've, you've seen her though. A little recliner. Again, came with the house, so did this lamp. Uh, and this actually, this house came with this um, old antique school desk. So, it's kind of cool. Uh, and then over here, we have the TV over there, which also came with the house and was extraordinarily uh, good quality. It was a, it's a really great smart TV. It's really high, uh, 4K, I think, which is really a pleasant surprise. When you buy the contents of the house and it comes with a 4K TV, that's pretty nice. Um, and this is came with the house Xbox, like light, bu light Xbox. bulbs. <laughs> the Xbox came with the and, house. Uh, um, light bulbs. Uh, we have our internet set up. We got our internet set up what like the day after we moved in, yeah. or not moved in, but the day after we closed. So that's that stuff. And the good news, we have Peacock now, so we can watch The Office. Yeah. Yep. Over I couldn't here. find AP Bio though, so I'm upset. That's weird. Yeah. Over here we have an armchair, and a little table, and a lamp. And then over here you have the coffee table, and the couch. So we actually discovered that this lifts up, which is really nice because um, we are pretty much over here every night, and obviously we have a lot of work to do every day, but we don't have any um, office area yet. So this is nice to have to set your computer up on and uh, get some work done. And sofa, three seater. And over here, of course, you see the staircase. Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, we get into the kitchen. 
So there's a little actually entryway here. And I'll take you down into the basement at the end and we can have a spooky time down there if you like spooky things. But spooky. we get into the actual kitchen. Um, so as far as I know, what the what there, a guy came to appraise um, to see about countertops or whatever, and he told us that these are solid wood on the inside and everything, which apparently is so is really great. I mean, I'm sure it is. Well, solid wood is great, um, but I thought they just looked pretty, but apparently they are great quality. So, um, kudos to the tire owners. <laughs> <laughs> This is a gas stove. We have our Wendy's in here for some reason. We're cooking Wendy's. We're cooking Wendy's in the in the bag. As you can see, this actually connects into the dining room here too. Dun, 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 dun. And we have our coffee stuff set up for the floors. Oh yes. Now we're about to go into the laundry room and another bathroom. It is very messy. So we're moving. <laughs> uh, so this is the laundry room. Uh, we have a lot of ramen over here. And we have pop and Scott tissue and laundry detergent. Oh, there's so much stuff is in here. <laughs> this is where all the stuff went that we don't know where we're putting it, including this ladder. So we have a little um, sink over there. The washer dryer actually came with the house, which was amazing. Yeah. So we didn't have to worry about that. And then Troy standing in the doorway of the uh, ground the first floor bathroom so da, 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 da. as you can see it's kind of handicap accessible so I um, I think for the previous owner uh, and Troy's I mean Troy's kind of said that this is gonna be mostly his bathroom and uh, personally I don't like the fact that this blue teal um, it kind of it makes the you could see it on the camera too. Yeah, you can see completely inside and also it just makes the room very blue. So I would change that. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -dee. But we're gonna try to make this actually a nautical theme. So we're gonna try to bring in some Which is nice. Nautical nonsense is something I wish. And we have a little cabinet here for storage, probably pantry. And now Cat stuff. so this this room There's is There's gonna be a theme with this video. <laughs> So this room is actually kind of important because this room is going to be serving as Troy's office and also the home of all of my white bookcases. So, so this is considered the fourth bedroom. Um, we won't be using it like a bedroom, but we are going to be using it. I think I'm going to what line my white cases around the walls. Mm -hmm. Troy's going to also set up, have like a big desk area for his desktop and his gaming rig and everything. Going to stream from here. Yeah. Yeah. And that door connects to the garage. Yeah. That door goes straight out into the garage. What I'm going to do, you never see the carpet really in my videos, but I have like a, a roll like like shag, shag um, gray and white uh, rug that I can that will take up this entire room just lay it on, on mm -hmm. top of the carpet. And uh, yeah, and we will go upstairs now. Time to go upstairs. Oh wait, no, we're not going upstairs, are we? We're gonna go downstairs. We're going down into the pit. So this is like a, the entry from the side of the house, and there's actually a ramp that goes out into a little sliver yard. But if you go down here, we go into the basement. So it's an older house. This house was built in the 1940s. It's in the Victorian style, but um, the Victorian style kind of stopped being ultra popular probably in the 19, like early, early, early 1900s, late 1800s. So this house kind of mimics the Victorian style, but in a more modern way, but still an older house. So that's why, you know, it's not a finished basement. And what we want to do with the basement is basically use it for storage and also um, so that Troy can bring his drum set down here and I can bring my piano down here. Woo yeah, and we want to just clean it up enough so that it, it is visible down here and a little bit less creepy. 
So what we've been having my little cousin do, we've been kind of paying him to come down here and like power wash the floor. That's why you see like clumps of dirt around and debris because he's been kind of power hosing it and then we brought the dehumidifier down to um, try to soak up all that water. So, ooh, almost fell. So after he finishes really scrubbing it down and we come down and we keep cleaning it up a little bit, we are going to um, maybe like uh, power spray paint the um, the rock like white and then we're going to maybe possibly uh, <laughs> um, epoxy the floor. This is where I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. That's where she said I was gonna sleep before the video started. Now, the only thing you got wrong there is where you're sleeping. Comment, be comment below if you uh, comment hashtag let Troy rest if you want me to sleep somewhere that's not in the basement under the stairs. Look, it's a bunny. Where at? Bunny. Oh, oh, it's gone. Oh. Oh. Yeah, bunny. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go upstairs now. Uh, this is our staircase. The project that we want to undertake is um, kind of cleaning that up a little bit, stripping the wood, and then restaining it. Because it could really use that and, you know, a little bit of polish and stuff. And we're also planning on putting... Oh, <laughs> we're also planning on putting a runner down here. Go up the stairs. <laughs> this is the hallway. <laughs> um, okay, so we have... Three bedrooms up here. It's kind of echoey because there's not a lot of furniture up here, obviously. Um, there's three bedrooms up here and then a bathroom. So this first one on the left, we're using as sort of a sitting room or like study area. Um, this is just sort of mix of furniture that we have. This rocking chair actually came with the house. Um, it has some actually really cool detailing. I'm not going to lie, I found it kind of spooky at first, but if you come in close, you can see like the fish scales and that sort of woodwork, which is cool. And then we um, brought in this sofa that we had um, to just, you know, just be in here for, for hanging out. And, it's and then we got this rug. It matches the rug downstairs. It's like a smaller version. Uh, and then this TV actually is from the other house, but... Uh, it's not working. There are technical difficulties. Yeah, that, that's one way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, there are technical difficulties with it. Um, these uh, these balances also came with the house. I don't really like balances very much, personally. I just don't. I don't know. I just don't like them very much. So I prefer drapes. But at the same time, we have cats, and cats like to crawl up drapes. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. This also came to the house, you know, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Hitting all our bases. This came with the house. <laughs> the outlet covers the came with the house. Um, this uh, bedroom, like the other two bedrooms, has a, uh, what do you call it? a clothes press, I think they call it. Which is basically, if you're not like super familiar with older homes, so basically the idea was that you would put clothes like back this way you know in a line and then when you would when you would close the door you would press the clothing <laughs> and then it'd be nice and pressed and good looking you know what i mean that was scary was it scary was it dark in there it was pretty dark yeah I fit though. I don't know if we're going to use them to hang things or if we're going to turn these kind of into shelves. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, now on the left, we have the bathroom. Oh, dude. 
two pages. Two pages. I'm it's, it's the Spider-Man. It's the Spider-Man meme. Good. All right, and this is the second bedroom. Uh, this is um where we're keeping uh one of our litter things because there's nothing going on in here right now. There's a desk in here. And once again, we have the clothes press. Now. And now, presenting. Oh, look how ornate these. I didn't think I really paid attention to these. That's very, very nice. nice. This is the master bedroom. It's the master because we have this, you know, bedroom space. And then it connects to this little sitting room over here. And in this little sitting sitting room, um, there's a closet. Yeah, so this is sort of a more normal sized closet. This is my channel now. Yeah, so this is more of a normal sized closet. That one over there is another clothes press closet. So we have actually um, a couple built in bulk cases, which is really cool. Um, if you, yeah, if you zoom in on the top, there's like some detailing that. You can kind of miss because the painting in here was pretty sloppy, so it Beautiful. kind of got all over the woods in some places. All over. <laughs> all over. All over and company. What I want to do with this space is put a desk here. I'm going to have to come up to a little bit under here, and I'll put a desk here, and this will be like sort of my office space. Um, I'm going to take this off and then take the paint off and probably even like a matte black or something since I'm sure the metal at this point isn't looking too hot. But what we want to do is put the bed against this window over here and then we'll have hopefully two nightstands. And then on this side, I think we're going to have one dresser. And on this side, we'll have the TV and then another probably chest of drawers or something. Yeah. Now, reality could be whatever I want. Oh, I wish I would have brought my, my shoes. This is the attic that is actually connected to the master bedroom. Um, it is not insulated or obviously drywall or anything, but our hope is to do those things, run electricity up here so that we can have you know, probably air conditioning. I don't know if we need, um, but we, well, I mean, we have electricity over here. I mean, more, maybe electricity, but we want some air conditioning and then we would like to fix it up so that we can maybe use it as uh, a Dungeons and Dragons room. Yeah, like this spot is like just asking to be used for a giant table. Yeah, I would like to turn this space over here into a little reading nook or like lounge area. I feel like once it's all cleaned up and all of the clothes good and you know then you could have like a couple couches and some pillows and just have really comfy space. And you know I am always looking for new places to read. I like my reading nooks a lot. And we also would like to put, since we are going to maybe have some Dungeons and Dragons times up here, um, we would like to have like, a little bit of a, a bar so it looks more taverny. Yeah. Uh, so that would be cool to put here or something. With some, maybe a couple stools or I don't know. Whatever. But my weekend's over, so that's it. <laughs> Brian. So I hope you enjoyed that tour of the house. Now I need to probably go and get some food and then continue working. And uh, tomorrow is Monday, so I have to get up early, so I really won't be awake that much longer either. So 
Uh, I'm gonna wrap up the I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now and before I do that I'm just gonna kind of update you on what I've been reading so here and there as much as I can I've been reading um, Preston and Child's Old Bones uh, book so this is the start of the um, Nora Kelly series and it's basically like an investigative mystery series that follows uh, well I, it has multiple multiple perspectives but um, Nora Kelly is an archaeologist and it begins with an historian uh, who is very interested in um, like the history of the Donner Party. Uh, he finds the lost journal of one of the women in the Donner Party and he um, approaches the archaeologist Nora Kelly uh, about excavating the lost camp. Um, so like there were two camps in the Donner Party or whatever and uh, there was a third one that was never found in the book. So he approaches her about excavating it and basically they're on this just whole mission to excavate the site and find this um, treasure and all of the to find out what the happened to the people that were there and I wouldn't say that it's like high, highly action-packed or like super adventurous but it's definitely an adventure novel it's more of an intellectual sort of mystery novel more than it is an action novel even though the premise of it sounds very like uh, action-packed gory violent i don't know it's definitely a little bit gory i guess i was actually sent this book by a subscriber michael he enjoyed the series so much that he gave it five stars and he sent me the first two books and the second book after this is i can't remember the name of it but it has to do with um nora kelly finding this mummy uh i also recently finished the invisible life of Addie larue if you follow me on goodreads i was very vocal about updating that book. I gave it five stars on Goodreads because I did really really enjoy it. Um, it was a pleasant surprise but anyway that's what I've been doing lately as far as reading goes and um, you know what have you guys been reading? What have you been up to? A lot of you liked my status updates for um, the Addie LaRue so I'm assuming that many of you have read it and you have told me some of you have told me that you really enjoyed it. But other than that, what have you been up to? So I'm going to leave off here. I hope you are having a great week or you're having a great start to your week. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye. Bye.